Windows, it's me, it's me, it's Exotic MTG, and we're here, we're live, and we're getting the Zoom fixed. Sometimes it's harder than it looks. I uh, want to remind you on Twitter, we're doing this giveaway for the Kahira, the Orphan Guard foil stamped promo. Just go to Exotic MTG on Twitter and find the tweet. It's been, I think, three days since I tweeted it out. Just follow and retweet that tweet, and boom, you are entered to win this awesome companion foil promo. Next, we already opened one box, and uh, that was of Theros for the Booster Box Club for May, the standard Booster Box Club. Or if you're in the ultimate Booster Box Club, you get a share of this standard, and you get a share of the Eventide box we opened. But this is in, uh, box number two of four boxes that we're going to be opening up. Make sure that you check out patreon.com slash exoticmtg, and you, yourself, can be in the Booster Box Club. We'll save the box topper for the end. Let's see what we can't snag out of here. I believe there's 19... There's 19 people, and 18 of the 19 get two shares of all the loot. I think I think that's how it's going to go down. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been, been fun. The Theros box was actually really good. Mythos, uh, Mythos of Nethroi is the first rare... So yeah, the, uh, the Theros booster box, I think we opened it about six or seven days ago. It was really, really good. So we are hoping that all four boxes that we plan to open for the booster box club are all hot fire. Here's an emergent ultimatum. And a Swiftwater Cliffs. Make sure you guys crush that like button, hit the subscribe if you're not subscribed, and click the notification bell if you want to know when we go live. All of our opening videos have been live as of recent been a long time since we've done an edited one. Uh, Eerie Ultimatum. So two ultimatums out of the first three packs. Ooh, we got ourselves a Phoenix back there in the showcase. I do believe. I do believe that is a Phoenix. It is. It is a Phoenix. Pretty easy to tell with that art like that right there. Pretty easy to tell. That's, uh, what, pack four? We already got a showcase or extended art, whatever you want to call it. I think it's beautiful. It almost looks like uh, like it's been altered by, like, is that Star or something? It's that good. Thank you, Sona. Appreciate you tweeting that out. Anyway, and we have a foil. Blade Banish. Uh, Dan, it depends on how long this box takes us, but this is most likely the only box tonight. Boop, boop, boop. And an unpredictable cyclone. Is that thing seeing any play, Sona? You know, it's been a long time since we've built an EDH deck live. We should do that again soon. Maybe we should even create a patron tier where we build a, a patron. An EDH deck, that'd be sweet. Hey, a Rogrin Triome. That's good. I like the Triomes. You haven't seen it on Arena? Well, I haven't seen Arena at all. I haven't even seen frickin' Arena. COVID has really just completely changed the, uh, you know, the normality of my household. Lava Brink Venturer and a Foil... Convolute. More mostly Luros decks, huh? Okay. Well, we drafted one in the early access stream. I didn't realize it was as good as it is. Trumpeting Nar, Path Breach, and hey, Yurion. There we go. That's a pretty cool companion right there. And a foil parcel beast. Three foils. Already swimming in foils. Let's get. Oh, okay, that's an uncommon. I thought that was a rare for, for just a hot second. I got ahead of myself. Avian Oddity. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Boop, 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 boop. Mythos of Snapdax. Our second Mythos card. Flourishing Fox, Crystal, Spill. Hey, the Ozolith. That's a good one. Good little legendary artifact. Eerie 
easy to shut down. Okay, that's cool. It's always good to have uh, options, right? Majestic Oracorn. Hey, there we go. We got a freaking mythic. There we go. First mythic of the box. Kinnon Bonder Prodigy. It's a mythic. Let's read it. It's a 2-2 two, two for 2. Whenever you tap a non-land permanent for mana, add one mana of any type that permanent produced. That's really sweet. Then you can pay 7. Look at the top 5 cards of your library. You may put a non-human creature card from among them onto the battlefield to put the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order. Second best price for a regular art card. Ooh, I like hearing that. We'll put the mythics right there. Oh, I have to show you all what, uh, what a friend of mine gave me. Well, see if it's around here. I'll show you at the end of the video. It's a pretty sweet card. Actually, you know what? It's not down here. I'll show it on the next video. Here's a Dranith Magistrate. Come on, Spice. Give me some more Triomes. Give me an Obosh. Prophets. There we go. We got the moth. I like the moth a lot, actually. It's a nice one. Three, four for four, flying. Whenever you a creature you control without flying dies, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control with a flying counter on it. I like it. Very cool. Second mythic. We got to play the Moth in the early access stream as well. I think in the same deck as the Luros, matter of fact. Mythos, oops, of Brokos. That Catbird token is ridiculous. Flyger, another Mythos. Are any of the mythos actually valuable at all? Any of them? Bonders Enclave. And a foil Dreamtail Huron. Alternate art. Ooh, what is that back there? Woof, we got a spicy hit back here, kids. I feel it in my loins. A whirlwind of thought. And, oh, heck yes! That is what I am talking about. As Booster Therapy would say, that's a spicy meatball. That is awesome. Narset of the Ancient Way. Sip apple juice for that hit. Mmm. Yes. Cha-ching. That is hot. A very, very lucky and thankful patron is going to get that at... Well, probably about a week and a day from right now. Where's Dagon? He's been asking about Narset. Well, he, he gone. Dagon is gone. A gem raiser. This might be the first non-showcase or extended art gem raiser I've seen, to be honest with you. Connaissance Mission, and a Cub Warden, Warden of Cubs. We need, um, well, I guess we do have three Mythics, because one of them's Foil, which is always nice. That was an awesome hit, by the way. That's the bad thing about non-edited videos is, ooh, there's um, uh, Umori, I like him. Uh, I, I like with the big hits, I like making like edits to those, but you can't when you're live.
Death Dweller. Another Whirlwind. Two in the same box. It's not the first time that has happened. Titanoth Rex. Oh, there we go. Luna Apex of Wishes, Pack Mythic 6645 with Mutate, Flying Trample. Whenever this creature mutates, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non land permanent card. Put that card on a battlefield or into your hand. That's cool. So, four Mythics. This box is well. Apparently, uh, Booster Therapy is going to be opening up our COVID care package on Tuesday on his channel. So check that out, Booster Therapy. Here's an extinction event. I kind of like that one. This box is not disappointing us. I'd rather have the Triomes rather than the Mythos, but there's an ultimatum. Alert Heedbonder, Necropanther, Porky Parrot, hey, Giganta. That's what I'm talking about. Like the companions. I like it. <clears throat> we need a Luros. Fox. Oh, man, not that. What up, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Do you see our cool foil NAR set over there? You know, back in the day before the box toppers and showcases and extended arts and crazy alternate arts, that'd be a massive hit right there. I mean, it's a big hit, but it'd be, we're talking big time hit. Best hit of the set kind of hit. Uh, Crystallian Giant and a Volpikeet. Jeremy Warden, you still in the Booster Box Club, buddy? I know that you've kind of been in and out. Oh, look at that. We got ourselves a Showcase Alternate Art Triome. That is sweet. And a foil mysterious, very mysterious egg. Rogren Triome. That'll go right here. Good hit. Good box. Good box. Great box, actually. Great box. Great. Lockdown creator. A Karuga, another companion, and a foil mystic subdual. Got the big old dinosaur hippo there. Thank you for all seven of you that are here watching live with us today. Why do I torture myself like this? What are you, how are you torturing yourself, Lux? Death's Oasis. Okay, sounds good, Jeremy. Death's Oasis. I don't think that one's worth anything. I could be way wrong, though. Watch it be worth, like... Five bucks. I just don't think it is. Another mythos. Good old snap dax. Him and I go way back. We've been cruising right along on this on this box though. Garuda. Oh, understood, buddy. Hey, uh, sounds like uh, tomorrow, Lux, are you going to be on the podcast? Because I think I'm going to be. Ooh, is that a foil legendary? Yeah, I figured the Oasis was not a thing. Oh, yes. Look at that. 
Oh, this is the Booster Box Club there, Jeremy, and this is a sweet foil hit. Wow, that is beautiful. Foil Narset and a foil Lutri. Woo! I don't even care if he's banned. He's cool. And he's banned because he's cool. He's too cool, matter of fact. Foil Lutri we got. And a Ketria Triome, another Triome. That's what we want to see. We got two packs left, then the box topper. And we'll see where we're at time-wise. <clears throat> Shark. Owl thing. And a Sharknado. The Sharknado has arrived. Never too late for a Sharknado. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four Mythics. We haven't had a Mythic since like midway, so maybe we've got one here. Oh, okay, we'll take it. We'll take another companion. This is Zerda the Dawn Waker. That is sweet. What do you guys think, box topper time? Here's my edits. I'm calling Baby Godzilla for box topper. I'm calling Death Corona. Death Corona. Oh, it is Baby Godzilla. Wow, you got it right. Baby Godzilla. Look at the little cute little guy. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're just going to go right. We're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. We're going for it. <laughs> we're going to go for it through the looking glass, as my friends would say. All right. We're going to go quick, though. Song of Creation, I like that one. I'm going to put that in an EDH deck not long from now, I do believe. Speaking of EDH, you guys can actually set up games of EDH uh, through our Discord. If you are not a member of the Discord, you should be. All you have to do is go to exoticmtg.com, look at the top right, click that Discord link, and it'll take you right to... Oh, another moth. Right to our Discord channel. I did that wrong. And they usually play on Saturdays, says Sona. Can we hit 11 total Mythics out of two boxes? I sure hope so. Boo, 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 boo. Second Moth, yep. Boom, boom, boom. There it is. Lurus. He's here. He has arrived. He has arrived. Heck yeah, man. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I'll just have to keep it. Sorry, guys. Charge of the Forever Beast. Gigantha, again, nice. And a foil gloom pangolin. Lan Lan Lanolin, Lanolin, like sheep's wool. Here we go. Offspring's Revenge. You ate the whole wheel of cheese, Sona? I'm not even mad. I'm actually impressed. Boom, boom, boom. Ultimatum. And a Sprite Dragon, quench your thirst. Titan's Nest, probably not the rare land you want. Tell me if I'm wrong. You can tell me if I'm wrong. I'm wrong all the time. My house does smell of rich mahogany. 
Gosh darn it, who put the question mark on the teleprompter? Big Shark. Ooh, what's back there? It's, that is a flippin', it is a flippin' alternate art Narset. Oh my God. We are just hitting today. Let's put these two next to each other. Ba boom, boom. That art is super cool. That is what I'm talking about. We landed on the moon. No way. A gem razor. It is a gem razor. Yaz flute. <laughs> oh man. Milk was a bad choice. <laughs> oh, not the foil rare you want. Uh, here's a song of creation and a poopy. Is that a, that's, I'm pretty sure that, that quartz wood crasher is kind of poopy. Can't be mad, though. We've gotten some pretty sweet hits. Haunted Nightmare. I keep doing this. I keep putting them in the wrong place. Hey, hey Snapdax. Boom, Mythic. Boom, diggity. Is he any good? Is the, the price showing his greatness at all? Because <clears throat> I really don't know. Haven't been playing. Jeremy Warden calls dibs, though, so I guess you won't be get Anybody not named Jeremy Warden, you won't be getting that. Void, boom, Slither Wisp, our first of the night. Two a dollar. After this, I gotta drive to San Diego. It's a whale's, you know what, vagina. Boop, 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 Mythos of Iluna. Of the lunatic, the lunatic fringe. Maybe we should just quote movie movies like on every video all the time. Unpredictable garbage. Sigoth Mamba. I like the cyclone, says Daniel. It's fun, says Daniel. Well, what's fun is money in your wallets, like a Savai Triome extended art piece of greatness. Heck yes, guys. Look at that. Boom. This Booster Box Club is lit. It is lit up. Abrinth Raptor, we still need an Obosh. Oh gosh, we need an Obosh. Jeremy, I'm kind of there with you. I do know some of what I've seen on, online, but, but I don't know all. That's for dang sure. Mythos of Nethroi. I do know we don't want the Mythos cards. I do know we do want the Triumphs. We do want the alternate art, the extended art, the box toppers, the, the Coronas, the Triomes. Definitely want the Triomes. Fiend Artisan is top card. Well, not for very long, though. Remember when the, what is it, the Death Hood Raptor was the... The greatest card in, what was it, Dragons of Tarkir? Oh, what's it worth now? 
why I hate standard and buying standard decks. Alert, call, big guy, and the Genesis Ultimatum. Foil Snare Tactician. Pioneer will keep the price up. I guess it helps, yeah. It helps. It helps. Oddity, Dracus, Crystal, another Ultimatum. Stop trolling me. Give me more alternate arts and foil mythics. Monstrous Step, Empathy, Grim Dancer, and another freaking ultimatum. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> 